Prima La Roca, the Chilean sensation Big Bad Boy Burton Diaz heads back to South America to try and reboot Chile's World Cup qualifying campaign. Is it too little too late? We'll take a little look. That's right, folks. Back once again with another prediction video. Today, we look forward to match number 13 over in the South American World Cup qualifying campaign. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe and get your bang out today with all things World Cup related, Bob and Rose related, World Football related. We're going to all hear, boys, under one roost. Yeah, that's right. Chile have bounced back with, of course, back to back wins to give themselves a big old boost as they try to make, of course, Qatar 2022. Well, they're getting a little bit closer. We'll take a look at it in a minute. Of course, big shout out to my VIPs. They're the pay a tree on. So let's get into it then. Of course, bring your bang out today with the prediction league and, of course, recap the results from last time out. So here we go then, boys and girls. Of course, Bolivia against Paraguay ended up as a 4-0 win for Bolivia. Back-to-back -back wins for them as well. They've got themselves right back in the thick of things. Uh, I went with the 1-0 win myself. Colombia picked up a 0-0 draw against Ecuador. Bit of a dead for them. Haven't? They've just done one once in five for them. Uh, Argentina did beat Peru, of course, to keep up their, their, their outside shot to maybe uh, oust in Brazil as leaders. Yet to taste defeat. Of course, Chile did beat Venezuela. 3-0 win for them. Big win for them. That's, of course, big battle for Diaz has been on goal-scoring form at the moment. Uh, so uh, picking up the win. Of course, Brazil did beat Uruguay. 4-1 win as well. And again, yet to taste defeat. I think I got them all right. I think I got the bloody old now. I got one wrong. Goodness gracious me. Anyway, I got myself four there. What about you guys? Of course, we're going to bring you a bang up to date with the Prediction League. Of course, I would have been top bins with Eamon Hussain, JPFC, our great Anna Hakoth hyping over. All of us got four out of five. Not too shabby there. What about the grand scheme of things for this one? Hans Wurst is your man. 18 points on the board. JSBCFC are great. And Bilburn make up the tap, the power three. And of course, the chasing pack as well. Still a lot of, a lot of points on hand here, even though we did start this midway. But anyway, let's, of course, recap. Of course, if you want to get involved, it's free to enter. Cut these four WC22, co-A-B-E-L. There's all there. Should be in the description as well. But anyway, let's take a look at the table. Where's the bloody table? Oh, let's go back. Let's go back. I'll show you the table right there. There it is right there. Of course, Brazil lead the charge. Of course, well, they're six points clear of Argentina. They, they have a games in hand on everybody else. But again, I think it's top four qualify. The fifth spot will go to a playoff. Right now, Chile do uh, lie in sixth spot, of course. And mathematically, they could actually be in fourth spot at the end of these matches, of course, because some difficult matches as well on the agenda. We'll have a look at them in a minute. And of course, uh, the foot of the table, Venezuela struggling, uh, but we'll see how they uh, duke it out. Of course, two matches this this international break uh, for uh, Chile uh, to get themselves back in the thick of things. Anyway, let's take a little look at uh, the next round of matches, which are right here, right now. Are we ready? I'm ready. You guys ready? Let's get into it. Ecuador take on Venezuela. That's right. Now, these two sides pitch the 15 times. So three, five wins for Ecuador, six wins for Venezuela, and four draws. Biggest win for Ecuador was a two, three new win. There was a three one win. Ecuador comes to just one defeat past four games. 50% form for them right now. Venezuela's just one in the six for them. 17% form as well. Last time, of course, they played each other in uh, Venezuela's back in October 2020. It was a reverse fixture, I believe, on this one. Venezuela coming out top of the 2-1 win. Last time, they played in Ecuador. It was a 3 0 win for Ecuador. That was back in November 2016. Of course, Ecuador did lose to Mexico. Uh, actually beat Mexico in a friendly uh, back in October. Of course, uh, Chile did beat Venezuela 3 0 last time around on this one. Uh, got no odds. No, got no odds on this one. Go to my gut. My gut says uh, Ecuador 2 1 win for them. Venezuela look a little bit lost at the moment. I don't think they will uh, get response this time around. Paraguay against Chile, of course, must win territory for Chile, you think, on this one. Played each other 16 times since 2003. Seven wins for Paraguay, seven wins for Chile, two draws. That's around, of course. Uh, we'll talk about that around. Chile comes to this, just one win. Uh, sorry, Paraguay comes to this, just one win in six for them. 32% form for them right now. Chile comes to this, two wins the past six games, 42% form for them at the moment. Of course, their biggest win, Chile over Paraguay, was a 2 0 win. The biggest win there was a 3 0 win. Of course, that's around, was in Chile, it was a 2 0 win. That was back in October 2020. That's not finished in Paraguay, though, it was a 2 1 win for Paraguay. That was back in uh, September 2016. It's been a while, folks. It's been a while. However, the recent form is not good for Chile. They've only won once the past four games against Paraguay. Goodness gracious me. They also played each other in the Copa America and they lost as well. So, coming on forward, of course, Paraguay did lose to Bolivia. Of course, 4-0 uh, lost them. Your Chile picked up a win against Venezuela uh, last time around on this one. They also played each other against Paraguay not too long ago. 2-0 win as well. So, that hopefully that is more, more what it's like. However, Paraguay's last home or last home win was a 2-1 win over Venezuela. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping, oh, I'm hoping Chile step up the plate on this one. No, no odds on this one. I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw on this one, which is not great for Chile. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Hopefully, it'll be a 2-1 win for Chile. But I've just got a gut feeling Paraguay will grind something out of this and get at least something from this game. Next, of course, we have uh, Boazou up against Colombia. That's right. Taking place on the 11th of November as well. Played the 15 times to 3 Just one win for Colombia. Seven wins for Brazil. Seven draws. Biggest win for Brazil. 2-0 win. There was a 1-0 win. Brazil coming to this. Just one to beat the past 6 75% for them right now. We were Colombia unbeaten the last six games. Picking up five draws and a, and a 
win. So uh, just one win in the past six, if you want to look at it another way. Of course, Colombia coming to this. Uh, of course, last time around, it was a nil-nil draw in Colombia back in October 2020. Uh, sorry, 2021, it was a nil-nil draw. However, that's not a picture that in Brazil, uh, actually in Brazil, uh, it was a 2-1 win in the Copa America. That's back in June 2021, of course, this season. Brazil did beat uh, uh, Uruguay 4-1 last time around. Colombia beat uh, a picture of a nil-nil draw against Ecuador. In fact, it's been three nil-nil draws on the bounce for Colombia over there. Struggle scoring goals. Got no odds on this one. Going to go with the win there for Brazil. 3-0 win. And Colombia will yet to score again. Uh, kicking off forward into the final two now with Peru up against Bolivia. In fact, I've only I've got the odds on this game. So we'll have a little look at that in a minute. Of course, now these two side positions have 17 times to do it. Four, seven wins for Peru. Four for Bolivia. And uh, six draws. Of course, Peru coming to this. Uh, we'll be looking at here. Just one win in the past four games. 42% four for them right now. Bolivia coming to this back-to-back -back wins for them. 42% four for them at the moment. Of course, the biggest win, Peru of Bolivia. 3-0 win. The biggest other way was a 3-0 win as well. Of course, Bolivia picked up a one win over Peru last round. That was back in October 20. Uh, October 10th, uh, 2021. Of course, the last time I'm sure that in Peru, there was a 2 1 win for Peru back in August 2017. Of course, Peru did lose to Argentina last round. Of course, they also lost to uh, Bolivia last round. Bolivia picked up a 4 0 win over Paraguay last round. That was back, back in, of course, 14th of October. No, what? We do have odds on this one. Peru are your favourites on this one. Um, uh, Peru are your favourites, of course. Uh, Bolivia are your massively underdogs. I'm going to go with a 1 win for Peru to bounce back. Of course, revenge as well for the recent match against. Uh, Bolivia, anyway. And finally, we have Uruguay taking on Argentina. That's right, over in Uruguay. Difficult one, this one. Of course, taking place on the uh, mathematically, I think it's the 12th, but I still think it's the 11th. Anyway, played for the 17 times since 1930. Uh, 1934 wins for Uruguay, 10 wins for Argentina, and three draws. Biggest win for Uruguay, 4 2 win. Though. The other way was a 3 0 win. Uh, Uruguay comes to this um, without a win in three. Of course, uh, two, three, two, two feet and draw to boot. As for Argentina, uh, five wins the past six games, 92% four for them right now. The Copa America winners. Of course, Argentina did beat Uruguay in the Copa America. Uh, 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 actually, that was in the World Cup qualifying last round. It was a 3-0 win in Argentina. They also played each other in Copa America. It was a 1-0 win for Argentina as well. Last time I played each other, of course, in Uruguay. It was a 0-0 draw back in August 2017. Of course, Uruguay did lose to Brazil last round. Argentina picked up a 1-0 win over Peru. Got no odds on this one, but Argentina should win this one. 2-1 win on the road to keep their dream alive. And, of course, put a bit of a dent in Uruguay's uh, campaign. That, my friends, is just about that. Be sure to give my picks uh, uh, some boost by smashing your subscribe, smashing your thumbs up. Also, check out the link as well here. Cut before slash WC22. So, OMBL, of course, get involved with the predictions. I look forward to seeing you whenever we come back around for the next round of matches and hopefully Chile will be in better shape. But until then, folks, give us some loving, smash your thumbs up, give us some, 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 some love, smash your subscribe and check it out soon, of course, when we, when we return for some more South American World Cup qualifying campaign. But until then, folks, we're done.